Hi everyone, Tao here. The year is winding down and if you've been following my tech journey, you know that the Galaxy S9 was my first experience with a Samsung smartphone. It was also my first flagship Android device. I picked up the phone the day it launched in the middle of March and it has been my primary phone for a large chunk of this year. Recently, I've gotten a lot of questions and comments about the phone. Does the S9 lag now that it's older? Which phone would you choose between the Pixel 3 and S9? Is it still worth buying in 2019? Well, here are my thoughts after 8 months of use. Let's answer these questions. It's hard to argue that the S9 isn't a well-built premium phone that you can actually handle with one hand. The curved screen is out of this world, the Dolby Atmos stereo speakers sound awesome, and the design is both striking and elegant at the same time. Keeping it real, the lilac color option was a big reason why I went with the S9 to begin with. If they only offered black or gray, I don't think I'd own this phone. On the specs front, it's pretty much standard for a flagship in 2018, although it would have been nice to see 6GB of RAM. The phone also retains a headphone jack and comes with expandable storage while most others are scrapping them. Durability has been very good for me. I used a liquid screen protector initially but took it off as it kept peeling. I do use cases on my phone and have dropped it occasionally, but I'm happy to report that the phone screen is crack and scratch free. Being rated for water resistance is another perk that I didn't appreciate but now look for in all phones. Great peace of mind uh, for those rainy days or occasional wet-handed use. Battery life for the S9 isn't going to blow you away and is one area where you can knock the S9. Conservative use will get you through the day but if you use your phone a lot, I'd keep a charger handy. Overall, from a hardware perspective, the Galaxy S9 is solid. Despite trying out different launches and combining with tons of icon packs and custom widgets, after experimenting for several months, I found myself reverting back to Samsung Stock Launcher. The launcher just works and it does everything I need to do in a simple and clean way. Before buying the S9, I read a lot of complaints about the Galaxy devices lagging and slowing down after several months of use. I'd be lying if I said those reports did not worry me. Eight months later, I can say that the phone runs as smooth as it did on day one. I have run into the occasional stutter and app crash here and there, but that was when I was using a different launcher with tons of widgets and different icon packs. Ever since I've gone back to the stock launcher, no stutters at all. If you're worried about the Galaxy S9 being a leggy mess because it's a year old now, don't be. I'm actually a big fan of Samsung's take on Android, but I get that not everyone cares for all the extra bells and whistles that Samsung tosses in. My motto is, I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Samsung's voice assistant is Bixby. I actually gave Bixby a fair chance and it grew on me, but the lack of improvements and the fact that it got worse in version 2.0 made me move away from it. I'll circle back once Samsung announces Bixby 3.0. What really won me over though is Good Lock 2018. Samsung hit it out of the park with these collection of customization apps. One Hand Operation Plus, Task Changer, Lockstar, Routines, and all the other included apps takes making the phone your own to a whole new level. Because I know someone will mention it, how about software updates? Samsung has rolled out the latest version of Android to some markets on the S9 and S9 Plus, and other countries should be receiving it early 2019. That's a step in the right direction from what I read about Samsung's update track record. The update includes One UI, which is their new user interface focusing on one hand reachability. The new coat of paint and makeover is welcomed and looks great from what I've seen. The camera reimagined. That was Samsung's tagline for the S9 and S9 Plus. The Galaxy S9 is a very capable camera phone and can take amazing photos, but I do have two complaints. One, if the subject you're trying to take a picture of is moving, even slightly, you're going to get motion blur. Two, the front-facing camera definitely needs work. Photos tend to come out overexposed, and the beauty mode is a little too aggressive even when it's off. If you can adapt to those two issues, I think you'd be very pleased with the camera. The camera also boasts a pro mode that allows you to have even more control over the camera settings if that's your forte. I personally am a point and shoot person and auto mode on the S9 works great majority of the time. The camera is also home to AR emoji, Bixby makeup, and Bixby vision. 
They are sort of cool at first, but unless Samsung really injects some real life into them, they really shouldn't be the reasons why you'd buy the S9. All right, let's go back to those questions I mentioned at the beginning. Which phone would I choose between the Pixel 3 and S9? I'm personally using the Pixel 3 right now, but my situation is a little different. If I was to recommend one of the two phones to a friend or family, I would recommend the S9 hands down. Unless I know they want the best picture camera, especially for selfies. The big question, is the S9 still worth buying in 2019? At this point, I was just waiting for the S10 to be released. Even if the S10 doesn't wow you, retailers will likely discount the S9 even further. Yay savings! If you desperately need a phone now, don't pay full price for it. There should be plenty of deals out there right now. The larger S9 may be a better buy due to it having 6GB of RAM, a second camera, and a larger battery. Though if you absolutely prefer or need to have a smaller form factor, the Galaxy S9 is still a great device for most people even in 2019. If you own an S9 or S9 Plus, let me know what your experience has been like so far. Again, thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, peace. Bye.